My name is Stanley Rayfield. I'm excited to be a part of the live streaming auction. Uh, the piece right here is called House of Manga. It's done in pencil, uh, graphite pencil on uh, Bristol paper. My inspiration for making this drawing uh, had a lot to do with the crowns. Uh, it, the piece has to do with a mother and a son and just their, uh, their, family, she's her their family's heritage being passed along and the crown symbolized that. Um, from a spiritual standpoint. Um, inside the crown there are symbols and icons related to uh, you know, biblical references and it just has a lot to do with just their, uh, the mother teaching her son how to walk in spiritual things and how to be uh, a strong man on the inside not just the physical strength. Uh, so I was depicting that through this piece. The models are a mother and son uh, who are both very, uh, very involved uh, missionaries. They're from Africa and they are just very big on just uh, spreading love and spreading, uh, you know, peace and, and, and hope for people that are in underdeveloped countries. House of Manga uh, alludes to their last name, their family name. Um, a lot of times in the Bible they would refer to House of David, uh, the house of... Uh, the house of Judah, the house of, of, of different uh, biblical families. That was just an older way of, of, of determining where you came from. A lot of my work uh, includes people. Um, I'm really fascinated by the human face, the human figure. Um, particularly, I, I, I like uh, having uh, references to, of spirituality in my work. That informs a lot of what I create. And I just love being able to capture the lighting uh, and the details that I see in people and just, you know, have, going a little bit deeper than just a pretty picture. This year I'm really excited. I'm working on a portrait of our governor um, for his official portrait, um, among other fine art pieces I'm creating. So I grew up in Richmond and uh, I went to Henrico High School. Uh, I was a part of a program called Center for the Arts and uh, I had a, gr a great art foundation from there. Then I went to VCU and I studied communication arts and that's where I graduated from and then I became a fine artist afterwards. Uh, Richmond has taught me a whole lot about becoming the artist I am today and I'm just really thankful to be a part of such a creative community. I think that you can show positive, powerful things and it not be uh, you know, very surface or very kitschy or very like cheesy. You know, I, I'm like, you know, if, if people can make this great art and it's not necessary, you know, it's about something dark or something, uh, you know, negative. And if that gets a lot of attention, you know, where are the positive things that have that depth to it? So for me, I'm just exploring that aspect of my work. How can I take realism and something positive and just deal with the depth of humanity, but still keep it as something that's uplifting? That's really, you know, what my journey and mission is.